Uh, if you go to like uniswap.info and then you type in like Hedron, like I'm already on the page right now, but this is how you do it. You type Hedron, and then you have to pick your pool. So you, I always sort them by which one has the most money in it. That's what time value locked means. And then you just click, uh, you know, these two are, have both $4 million in them. I gotta click on one of them. And then you can see they're just, if you click ads, this guy, it, it sorts them by time. So 19 minutes ago, this guy added 97 grand. If you want to dig deeper than that, you have to click into his account and see if he does anything else. And then removes is the opposite. You're taking USD or taking a token off the table. And then here's swaps where people are trading. And this is just all. So that's where you go to dig in on LP. I think if everybody knows how to LP better, that should be the goal. So I agree with you there, Max. I think that's a good thing that people know how to do that so they can, you know, decide how they want to support or hurt price, I guess, in a better way. Because it worked for the, it worked in reverse when we broke, when Hex broke off down past 10 cents. Somebody pulled a bunch of liquidity here. You're actually right here on 10 cents. Hold it off them off of it, making it easier to push price, and then decided to push price down. So it made it way quicker of a of a sell off. It, whereas if that like tons of hex were we still in the LP pools, it would took much more multiples more economic energy to get price down here. And you can see that in the uh, before I forget, that's pretty cool. You can look at hex on the LPs too. Obviously, I've been spending a lot of time on Hedron. But uh, you can see the TVL. Like we're so actually we're there's more dollar, there's more money coming into the hex pools right now. Even though the price is down, we have more liquidity than we had like a while ago at the low. So yeah, you know, we look at what happens. I think this was last year when we had our bull run. I'm not saying we're gonna have a bull run right now, but just saying liquidity is changing, so something's changing in the market. And one more question from David here. Is there something maybe trading view that alerts when you're outside the range on LPs? You can set alerts on trading view or price ranges, yes. So you're going to know where your ranges are set because you set them. And then you can set alerts on here, I'm pretty sure. Add alert. Somehow. Yeah, so like if it... I'll get an alert and you can send it through email or whatever. And it'll, if the price like goes above this inflection point, it'll send me an alert. Now this little orange line, for example. So, I mean, you're just going to have to like use it separate as a separate tool and you have to know your ranges.